glitter on my forehead. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today I'm going to share with you my current favorites for the months of January and February. These are things that I've been using for the past couple of months and I just, I'm obsessed with them and I love them and you have to know about them. So that's, that's what we're gonna do. I've got some makeup products, I've got some skincare products, and I've also got some miscellaneous products. Everything I mentioned today, I will put in the description box below. So check that out if you want links to any of the products that I mentioned. All right, so I'm going to start off with the makeup products first. The first two products that I'm going to mention are from the new e.l.f. Mint Melt collection. I actually did a video testing the whole collection or not the whole collection, but a lot of things from the collection. And so I will also put that in the description box below. Check that out if you haven't already seen it. But these were the two like major standout products that I'm continuing to use and I'm continuing to love. So the first one is the Mint Melt Cooling Face Primer. I am obsessed with this. It is basically like the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, if you've tried that before. It's a gripping primer, so it's definitely sticky. So if you don't like the sticky texture on your face, then you won't like this. But it's definitely very, very similar to that, but I actually think it's more hydrating. I suffer from a lot of texture on my skin, and any foundation I put on top of this just instantly looks smooth. I look like I have glass skin. I, I don't know what kind of magic is in this, but it's amazing. It is scented, so be aware of that if you're sensitive to fragrance. And one other thing I've realized with this product after using it for quite a while now, it says apply evenly to face prior to makeup application. Once applied, wait 30 seconds before applying makeup. So I definitely agree with what it says. One time I put it on and I let it sit for too long. I let it sit for like three or four minutes because I got distracted doing something else. And I don't feel like my makeup applied as nicely on top of it. So really you want to put this on and wait, you know, you don't have to time it or anything, but don't get distracted doing something else and don't let it sit too long because I don't think it has the same effect. But I definitely, definitely suggest this primer. I'm loving it. And then another thing from the collection that I'm really, really enjoying is the No Budge Eyeshadow Stick. And in particular, this is the shade Melt With Me. So it's like a neutral dark brown color with a little bit of glitter in it. I absolutely love this for when I am kind of just in a rush and I don't have a lot of time to do my makeup. I literally just like draw this on my eyelid, blend it out with a brush and kind of take it up into my crease. So it's a one eyeshadow look and it's done and just throw some mascara on and I feel like it's super quick. And if you want even a smokier look, you can actually also blend this on your lower lash line in your waterline and just below, take a pencil brush and smudge it out and you've got like a complete smoky eye look and it looks like you spent way more time on your makeup than you actually did. They have a lot of these shadow sticks on their website. They've got several colors, so you can probably find one you like if this color isn't for you. But the reason I like this is, again, it's like smoky. It's got a little bit of glitter in it, so it gives a little bit of that shine, but it's not over the top. And I actually have this just on my lower lash line in my waterline, blend it out with some eyeshadow, and I just love it for a quick and easy type of application. So I highly, highly suggest these. Okay, and then my third makeup product, I just checked online and it sold out. I'm really sad. I'm gonna share it with you anyway, just in case you never know if it ever comes back in stock. This is the Naughty Palette from BH Cosmetics. I am in love with this palette. It is so, so beautiful. First of all, the color selection is wild. Anything you want, you can get it. But it's 
very wearable colors. So there is like colorful looks that you can create, but they're not like neon colors, but you can also get like a neutral color. I'm wearing this palette on my eyes today. I also did an olive green look in my 21 questions tag video, which I will link below as well. And I used some of the greens. Oh, I just, I really, really love the color scheme. And on top of that, the quality of these shadows is unbelievable. It blows my mind for the price, how good the quality is. Right before this just went out of stock, it was on sale for $11. So I would suggest, you know, keep your eye out. If I have a feeling this was limited edition because it's the naughty palette. It's meant to be like holiday themed. But apart from that, I definitely would suggest checking out BH Cosmetics eyeshadow formula. I've had several of their palettes in the past and I do have a few of their palettes still. And I think they're really, really good and very underrated. They're definitely more on the pigmented side, so they do require some blending. Um, they're not like super user friendly for beginners, but if you're looking for like a pigmented, affordable shadow, I would definitely check out their their palettes. I'm so happy that I got this because I'm I'm really getting a lot of use out of it and I love it. Okay, and then I've got two skincare items I wanted to share with you guys. The first one is the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow AHA Resurfacing Night Serum. So this I have used in the past. I had a couple of bottles of these, maybe one or two years ago. I used it like crazy, I loved it. And then for whatever reason, I didn't repurchase it. You know, maybe I had other products that I was using, but I recently in my Sephora haul that I did, like around the holidays, I got a holiday kit that had this in it. And I really, I really don't know why I ever stopped using it. It's, it's magic. Like it makes your skin so smooth. So I do put this on in the evening. After I've cleansed my face, I put this on and I use it only maybe once or twice a week because it is quite strong but I use it on the days where I notice my texture in my skin is a little bit more acting up or if I've got a lot of breakouts. This really just resurfaces your skin and just gets rid of the dead skin cells, all the crap, and it makes you look like you are 15 years old. So I highly suggest this. <laughs> Okay, and then my next skincare item that I am absolutely loving right now is the CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream. So I am actually almost out of this. I'm about two thirds of the way through. This is so moisturizing on the skin. It's definitely like a super thick moisturizer and that's why I only use it at night because it's so thick. I wouldn't be able to really wear this during the day. It would probably bother me in terms of like the greasiness factor. But I put this on at night and I swear to God, I wake up in the morning and my skin is like plump and still moisturized. Like I feel like I still have moisturizer on my skin. I think that anybody could use this, whether you have oily skin or dry skin or normal skin. I have definitely normal skin and it just absolutely plumps and just makes your skin so juicy and oh, I love this. I just love it. It's unscented, which I appreciate. You only need a little bit. It's really effective. So I've got some like lifestyle kind of random sort of things that I want to share with you guys. So the first one is these Crest white strips, but they're the sensitive version. I drank a lot of coffee and I noticed my teeth weren't looking as white as they could have looked. So I have in the past used regular Crest White Strips, but they really bother my teeth like bad. I remember waking up in the middle of the night and my teeth were aching. Just bad, bad situation. So I saw that they had sensitive version and these have not bothered my teeth at all. Of course, you know, consult your dentist if you have any questions about whether these are gonna be right for you. But I really, really like these and I definitely think they've made a huge difference in the color of my teeth. So 
I would definitely look out for these if you have sensitive teeth or if the regular ones just bother you. I'm really enjoying these. Usually these products suggest you to use them once a day, but I, I use it less frequently than that. I use one every two or three days or something like that. So it works great for me. Okay, next. This is another product, kind of like that pharmacy serum that I was talking about. I have used this in the past, like, I don't know, a year or two years ago. And I stopped using it for whatever reason. And then I just picked up a new tub of it and I went through an entire tub and I'm halfway through a second tub. This is the Vital Proteins, Coll Ooh. <laughs> this is the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. So, I mentioned in the past, I really struggle with my hair. It's, it's very fine, it's kind of thin. So I really was looking for something to, you know, of course improve my health and improve my skin, but I also really wanted something that was gonna help my hair grow. And this 100%, I have seen a huge difference in my hair growth. And you know why I know is because I color my hair and I'm very gray and I dye my hair brown, right? So when my hair starts to gray, it's very obvious. You can see like it starts to grow out and grow out and grow out. So I can actually see from the grow out to my root how many inches has grown out, right? Like kind of like arsenic poisoning, you know, they can see it in the root of the hair, that type of thing, kind of the same. I don't know where I was going with that, but I've started using this again probably two months ago. And from the time I went to the salon to the next time between was way shorter because I had to make an appointment much faster. This has really, really helped my hair to grow. There's a, a scoop in there. That's what, what you're hearing. <laughs> and I also love that it's unflavored. So every night before I go to bed, I drink a cup of herbal tea. And by the way, that's coming up next, stay tuned. And I just put a scoop of this in my herbal tea. I mix it up, I can't taste it. It doesn't make the tea taste weird. It doesn't leave like grainy, like gross, bleh, like. It definitely dissolves very easily. Even when I get to the bottom of the cup, there's not like grit or anything. It's undetectable actually, so. It's very easy to drink. I've really, really seen a big difference in my hair growth. So if you're looking for something like that, I would suggest this. You can get this online, obviously on Amazon, but they also sell it in store at Target. They have it at Walmart too, so keep your eye out for it. Okay, so next, I don't, I forgot to grab it to my kitchen, but I'm just gonna pop a picture up on the screen. So this is the tea that I've been loving loving. It is the Bengal Spice Tea. You're really gonna like this if you are a type of person that likes that warm chai, kind of little spiciness to it, cinnamon. It's just like a very comforting tea, but it's very flavorful. A lot of teas like chamomile, I totally understand why people don't like them because they almost have like a dirty water taste, like you can taste the water you know what I'm talking about? But this tea like is so flavorful, but not in like a overpowering way, just like a yummy, yummy way. So if that's kind of your thing, I would definitely, definitely check this out. I've been loving it, especially for the cold months. I mean, I live in Florida, it's not that cold, but you know, I just like to curl up with my hot cup of Bengal spice tea. Okay, and on the same lines as cozying up, this is my last item. I am obsessed with this pajama set from Walmart. So it is this black all fleece top and bottom. So it's just like a crew neck type of top, sweatshirt top, all fleece. And it's fleece on the inside and the outside. It's just like a pure fleece. And then it has matching bottoms, like jogger type bottoms with the top elastic like that, and then the bottom have elastics around your ankles. This is basically like wearing a Sherpa blanket, but in pants and top form. It is so soft, it's so comfy. It's almost borderline like too warm. <laughs> so this is definitely for like a cold night if you're like super cold to the bone, and if you are outside and it's cold and you come back in and you wanna get real warm real fast, I, 
love, 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 love that for this. Again, I live in Florida, so it doesn't get like super cold, but some nights get cold. And I definitely, when I want to warm up, I love this set. This actually I found in store at Walmart. So check in store. And when I bought this, it was on clearance for $9 per piece. So the entire set was $18. That is well worth the price. And I just in general, Walmart pajamas from the brand Secret Treasures, they're honestly, I think the comfiest pajamas, they, they're comfier than Target pajamas. They're comfier than all these expensive brand pajamas and they're so affordable. They have all different kinds of styles, but I, I really, really like this fleece set. So I'll, if I can find it online, I will link it, but I would definitely suggest when you go into Walmart next time, go to the pajama section and see if you can find this because it is so plush and so comfy and so, so soft. All right, you guys, and those are all my current favorite products that I've been loving for the past couple of months. Let me know down below in the comments if there are any things that you've been loving this month that you want to let me know about so I can try. I would be happy to do that. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Just go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. I upload weekly beauty videos and also affordable fashion videos. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. And until next time, take care and I will see you later. Bye.